Hello fellow collectors, and welcome to Gallic Gun Toys. I'm Jared, and today I'm joined by a special guest, my good friend John. Nice to meet you guys. I'm John, you can follow me at Artnerat Corporation. I'm a podcaster and toy enthusiast like Jared. I've got a big collection of SH Fig Arts. Uh, you will get to see them one day in another video. But until then, we'll just talk about these ones here on display. Alright. Alright, well shall we just jump into it? Okay, um, so the first thing we uh, had that we mainly want to kick off um, this discussion, guys, was uh, the original sort of first releases from the SH Fig Arts um, that they did. Um, now, I believe they started in, what was it, 2000 and, 2009? 2009, yeah, with the Piccolo. Yeah, 2009, yeah. So, Piccolo was the first one we got. Um, now, he's got the interchangeable cape, he's got the cross arms, he's got interchangeable heads. He's only got uh, the one head with the turban, but then he's got like a growling face and interchangeable hands. Um, quite a nice figure. Um, it's a good, I like that you can do the effect of him throwing the turban. Like Yeah, you know, yeah, the, you've, you've always I've had him that, in like, your in your detail, like that's something that's, I've always liked, is him throw, throwing yeah, it off. Yeah, because always like, such yeah. a good scene. Like. Yeah, and that's like... You can't recreate that with Piccolo with many other figures. Like I've seen that. I think there might be like a couple Gashapon figures or something of it, mm. but or maybe a statue or that, something. Yeah. But uh, it's not. It's something you can. not That's the best thing about SH Fig Arts, is you can get like whatever pose. Like you can look up a pose or you can read a manga and you can see a pose, and you can. You know, ninety percent of the time, recreate you can scene. recreate that scene perfectly, and that's that's Just like the little add-on piece that if you take his arms away from being unfolded, how then it's still got the yeah, it's got another drape, it's got drape. another attachment for yeah. his cape. Like yeah, just those little accessories, and for them to do that with their first release, it was pretty nice. Like so. that's that's what made me like I I wasn't like like. You remember, like we we both came late to the SH Fig Arts game. Like we that's right. We we got into it um, maybe in two thousand and ten. I think yeah, Freezer was just coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah, because we got we got Freezer at retail released, yeah. from Dave right, <laughs> at, yeah. at when we were at Supernova. But oh man, like um, the beautiful thing that they've done is they've made it easy for collectors to source the original three. So the original three were Piccolo, and then uh, it was the original Gohan, um, which also, you know, Kate removes, came with an interchangeable Super Saiyan 2 head. And then, oh no, sorry, it was Goku. Sorry, Goku, I was stuffing up. Yeah. It was Goku was the second release, and Gohan was and the Gohan. third release. Um, but these particular three have always been like easy to source for someone starting off. Piccolo did go up for a little bit the price. Yeah, like, until but, they like, until but then they ended yeah, up reissuing. Yeah. Them, which... But but the good thing about those particular three reissues is they've never changed them. The colouring was slightly Yeah, different, just slightly like, on the like, cape, they, yeah. They still were a hundred percent the same thing. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Whereas the premium colour They've updated the sculpt. Yeah. They've got new color. They uh, updated the leg joints. Yeah, and that that that's a big improvement. Which like. is <clears throat> something that yeah always bugs me about the first release. See, this one's still not too bad. Like, it's... but that's that's where we started with Goku's articulation, and this is where we are at the 2.0 Goku, with like this nice. You know, he's like I'm still sort of getting used to posing them with with this articulation because it's kind of new to me. But it does. Yeah, the more it you does, manipulate it, it, it does gets look. Around. It does look better. You know, like you can't see the, mm. the seams as much, so you can put him into like a nice kicking pose. And the knee joints were definitely a big improvement compared. To oh that yeah, when it's just yeah, the one, definitely. Like, when you have I hate to that. Like, like, show, like show, yeah, like that's so amazing. ugly. Like, I've tried to put him in a cool kicking poses or, like, a, a scratching, and just, if you see it from any other angle, it's just ugly as hell. But that, like, that's cool. Like, I love that. And At least, it, yeah, it just covers that gap that little bit. Like, yeah. And breaks it up. Like, I'll be honest, like, this Goku has actually 
quickly become one of my absolute favorites just hands down like i'm glad i didn't fork out for any of the san diego releases of him with it, the gi and the it belt. It is nice to actually have the symbol, yeah, on the gi on the front and back, yeah. finally. And it's like. just, it's a nice, clean anime colours go through. It's a nice, good orange. Like, I already did an unbox unboxing and review of that, but... And something I haven't been, I've been meaning to check is, the I think the hair sculpt is different now from the original, like, black-haired go oh, yeah, like the yeah, first web is. release. Like, yeah, they've changed a bit at the front, which is a nice... Little yeah. effect. It's it's only slightly different, but yeah, it's yeah, just I think they've like one extra much. piece, I think. Or yeah, they've like added hair, they've added right. I think it yeah, I think they've they've just changed the front sculpt just slightly. I don't think he's gonna stand now, I'm gonna have to play around with that. But you've got um you've got the Kaoken version of that. I do, yeah, because yeah. that is the 2.0. Yeah, so right. does that have the 2.0? Oh, no, so the Kaoken is still the uh, original release. Oh, so yeah. they've just... So they reuse that for the Mexican, the Kaoken... Yeah, it wasn't... Yeah, the first, uh, the first body to have the 2.0 is uh, Super Saiyan 3 reissue. Okay, yeah, and then so, they used it again for then, Super Saiyan God? And so, Yeah, that's yeah, right, so, and then Super Saiyan God, and then after that it's 2.0 Goku. Oh. Hmm. No, because that, that is a nice body. Like, when it first came out on the Super Saiyan God, I was like, uh, I, I didn't know how I felt about the articulation. and. So that's, yeah, and that's like why this is a better improvement too than the Vegeta, like the reissue, because the original Vegeta doesn't even have the... Yeah, the diaphragm. Chest, doesn't even have the, yeah. Yeah, the diaphragm movement. Yeah. And he's still just got ball joint legs. And I love the fact that he has a longer tail. Mm. than the original like the original has this short stubby tail when it's fully extended and it's like at least it is better painted that's true but uh. for me i personally like that because it, it's just cleaner looking yeah. and compared like it just he suits napa better standing yeah and as on. sh figure arts have gone along you know and they've done you know like a, sort of a second release of a character like Gohan, like the same, the literally the same Gohan from the same era, where he's just battle damage, he's got updated colouring, and it's just... And the evolution, seeing him with the better knees, like yeah, the better like, leg joints. Like... Yeah, like, he's, he's just, like, this is one of my all-time favourites, this Gohan, that's why I've got two of him, because i gotta got to have two to display him with the two different... Super Saiyan. I am curious. Yes. Hopefully soon I'll get to take one apart. Like, you know, I've taken apart the older Gohans, and it was fun just to see the joints and how they work, and it was rather simple to yeah, cause you break did. it down, but these newer joints and legs, like, actually, wor like, puzzles me yeah. as, to how, as to how I'm, how I can break it down to do custom work. Yeah, because you did, you did a, um, like, you did a really sick custom paint job on those the commission didn't you? was yeah for gohan like and, and um, vegeta and they were both yeah red 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 and then yeah black suit for gohan yeah and then like and red then red undertones for red for red the, for the, belt the belts and, yeah and, and then armor with vegeta and stuff, it was the yeah. red red armor with the black body suit like. yeah but like you know when the line first started out i saw i saw because you originally got into... I still had the... What were the brand with the ones that came out with the cards? Uh, they were... Yeah, the Dragon Ball Z uh, cards. I can't remember Irwin who toys. produced... Uh, they Irwin were Irwin, yeah. That's I had right. the Irwin toys, and they were, the, to me, they still one of the best was it things Irwin? you could get. Yeah, right, yeah, because I forget, because it was Irwin... Yeah, they It did, was Jax, you know, and then it was Irwin. You have, yeah, Jax, but I... Yeah, all mine are Jax, Jax but I have all the Irwin as well. Because they did, Jax would do the um, Dragon Ball, like, an Android, like, some of the cooler... Yeah, well, but what were the original figures? ones we were getting from Japan, like, that were just the Japan, ones from Japan re reboxed for the Western market? Or the ones that only had, like, the arms moved? Yeah, I, uh, I think, yeah, I think that was Irwin, like... Were they oh, Irwin, no, or were no. they Bandai? That's Bandai, yeah. Yeah, they were Bandai, like... yeah. So, those were the initial releases we got, which were just rebranded Japanese, like, Thank just you. reboxed Japanese figures for the West. And then we got 
But once these came out, these are the best things you could get. I yeah, like they still are. like you remember when I I was like so. Like you've got still looks great, and like as you know, all the statues and figures are, are cool as. But, but you just but can't... for me, S H Figuts was kind of my jumping off point into all of this. Mm. Because remember, my Dragon Ball Z collection was pretty big, but it consisted of Jax, Erwin, Labanda, like all that yeah. early stuff, like the only official stuff you could get at retail here in Australia back in the day. And you had a few cool pieces like the time machine. Yeah, and like stuff, stuff, like, stuff you know, I'd got, like, like, but that's that's Jax. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure, or Erwin, like, yeah, that's I think Jax, it's, I think, yeah, yeah. yeah, like it's, it's from that era of. Dragon Ball figures, and that was available at retail here in Australia. Whereas these have never come to retail, have they? I don't think in Australia. No, officially. no, not really. Like unless you're talking zing. <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh, <laughs> so I guess that is retail, though. But yeah, that's yeah. ridiculous prices. But yeah, they are like heavily. Well, would you consider Zomster retail? Because Zomster sell them, don't they? I'm not sure. Yeah, if they have them, that's retail. Yeah, then. yeah that's well, I was you, you can get them at like retail here, but like now, like things have gotten certainly gotten better in the last few years. Like when mm. we first got into collecting Japanese one twelve, uh, one twelve, yeah, one Japanese figures, it was like you had to get them off eBay. That was pretty that was much it, the yeah, only place, and it was or, or wait for Supernova, or once wait for a year. Supernova like, once a year, and then just go to. Someone like Dave that... That's still what helped me, though, start buying them online, like, because you're still worried not seeing them before, but once you get to go to Supernova and even see them in the box, like, and pick it up, like... Yeah. You can go, oh, yeah, sweet, I will go buy this, like, and then go yeah. home, order it online, you know, but or, that, or buy it that day. Like, that, that's the thing I learned about SH Figuarts after, like, a year or two of collecting them, where we would just source them online when they came out or whatever, or we'd wait for Supernova... Well, nowadays with the popularity, and, and you almost have to. Like, you have to pre-order yeah. them, or you you miss out. Like a lot of the time, like the few times our pre-orders have fallen through, and we've had to source mm. them elsewhere, it's always cost me an arm and a leg. Yeah. Well, well, not an arm and a leg, but considering it's usually twice what I would have paid. Yeah, with through pen. through yeah through pen. Which which is annoying because like you know even with that freezer issue they still go to other countries like Hong Kong still had yeah. heaps of them on their store yeah like, and, and it's, it's they ridiculous they just don't supply Australia like. yeah or like you go to and that's actually one thing I noticed both times when Jess and I were in Tokyo and mm. when you and I were in Tokyo in 2015 is every time I've been to Tokyo there's been SH figure Dragon Ball Z around and available exactly but right. not a lot yeah, like, not, even the day they come out, or, like, yeah, even, the week they've come out, I will see, like, two or three in one shop. Well, you think, uh, when we went, the Vegeta was still $450, remember? Yep. Vegeta and Trunks were still $450 yep. figures, so, like, and actually, the actually that, Goku was still a $500 yeah, like, figure. Yeah, like, that's a funny story, because, mm. remember, you were telling me, like, you should get those, Yeah. you get that Trunks and get I that, still think you get that Vegeta. Hey, yeah. I, I ended up getting Vegeta for, like... Uh, I can't even remember how much it was. I think it was like 70, yeah. 70, 70, thousand yen, or like seven, 70 bucks. What was seventy five bucks Australian? Which one? The the original Super Saiyan Super release. Saiyan, yeah. Because yeah. the only one I'm missing now is the original Trunks release. Yeah. And the original Vegeta release. Uh, you have no, I've got the original Vegeta. I've got all the original oh, yeah, releases right. except for Super Saiyan three. And yeah, Super Saiyan three, okay, yeah, and okay, Trunks yeah, and the original yeah. Trunks. I've got every like other than the event exclusives. I've got all. Yeah, well, I need to get the the reissue color Trunks. That's what I'm missing. Oh damn! I got two of him. I got one that's just been living in my Irwin time machine for like two years I forgot about. I pulled the time machine down and went, ah, oh, Trunks, I forgot <laughs> yeah. about you. I put the Xenoverse, the Xenoverse time travelling one in it. In it. Yep. Because I think it suits it more. Cause I, like that's one yeah, with the no, scroll I, and I've I got agree, him sitting yeah. in there with the scroll. Yeah, and, like see, he's arrived like, oh, yeah. hey, got this info for you Yeah, guys. actually I might do that because I don't, I, I hate that Trunks. Um, 
Yeah, just, not much just with the normal with it, hair, but... yeah, just the the coat doesn't you can't do a lot with the coat it it's just... actually a really bad figure like yeah, the joints yeah. on it are yeah. really shocking like they did definitely made that one cheap and that's why it goes for so cheap um, like you know like oh anthony's customs um he he does he did a he did a review on it when it came out and he said it was like one of the worst or i, I think it was the review from when it came like i got when one he from got it. butter beats i think for like Bucks yeah, I remember. Bucks, yeah, I was missing a hand. Yeah, I remember that. But like, he said, he, even he said, was like, he's like, oh, this is one of like the worst, worst SH figures. Like, it does, it just doesn't, and it looks alright with the Super Saiyan head. I still kind of kick myself for ha for like buying a second one when Jess and I were in Tokyo in November because I was like, oh, it's got that interchangeable head. But now I'll do what do what you did. I'm gonna get the. Sc because he's got the scroll, I'm gonna yeah. put the sword back in the sheath and put him. And in the I time just machine. have him standing, like, because it's still then the time machine's so big. If you just have him standing yeah. on that giant seat, it sort of works. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I tell you what, I wasn't too impressed with SH Figuarts Vegeta. Like when I got him, I was like, yeah, uh, Majin Vegeta. Oh, sorry, the sorry. No, you're right. <laughs> I was just saying sorry. Majin, so they know sorry. which one. <laughs> Silly me, uh, Margin Vegeta. I did, like, does that look like Super Saiyan 2 hair to you? It's, yeah, it's odd, like, it, they definitely could have added a bit more bulk to it. Like, or just, no, just, like, maybe cut a bit of bulk out and make it a bit spikier. They, they've clearly just used his normal hair. Like, yeah, it looks the, like, like, it literally looks just like the hair sculpt from the Super Vegeta. Mm, like, no. That's what it looks like. But they've, at least they've added the little veins and stuff on the face, which oh, yeah. I do like. Yeah, and, then, yeah. And, and it's on all the arms I, and all that. I unfortunately, like that. it seems that if they're not web exclusives now, like the web releases, they just don't have as good a colouring. Yeah, like that's beautiful. Yeah, see, like this just has nicer colouring even in the plastic. It just looks in more in-depth. Yeah. But, I mean... Like Yamcha? Vegeta does go a bit pale when he's in margin. Like, like Yamcha, go, like... The 2.0 Goku, Tien, like their coloring is spot on. Like a, they're mm. some of my absolute favorites. Yeah, they get a little bit of shading on them still. And they're not even low. some of my favorite characters, but they're some of my favorite SH figure arts Dragon Ball. Figures. Yeah, I was never a fan of like Tien and Yamcha that much, but I love the Tien figure, especially doing his uh, tri blast. Like, cause that like the one scene that I always think about is with Cell Games when. You know, he's yeah, not going to be able to beat him, but he still just keeps down pushing him hole. in the ground. Like, that's why I can't, yeah. I can't wait for them to do Cell Stage 2, because that will be straight away where he goes. Yeah. <laughs> just getting pounded into one of these. Yeah. And here and there, because I've already got him doing that pose, because it's just so nice. And even the pieces that they come with, like the hands actually have the little buttons, like little divots. Yeah. And the holes on the other side, if you've noticed, and they actually, like clip in together almost like yeah. it's not just two hands like that that you've just got to sort of sit yeah there no i i did i had him together. i had him pose like, like yeah. that yeah it's, it's and i did really notice nice. that i was like oh that's 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 quite good it's like this um like, like this kid goku like they did so, like there's so much cool stuff with that i'm so glad i bought two just so i can have him just chilling and on the cloud especially because he comes with the dragon ball and yeah. like um Roshi is going to come with and another so Dragon Bulma. Ball and Bulma, so yep. eventually you can. I've yep. already put mine in the Dragon bit, like I've taken out the Gold Balls and yep. just put one Dragon Ball in there. So I'm yep. like, I'm going to slowly add them in. Yeah, I plan so, on plan on having when I've got um, when they've released seven, seven characters with the seven balls. Mm. I'll have them all standing around Shenron in the detail, just yeah. with a ball each. That'll be pretty cool. But. What was it, um, just before the video, um, John was telling me, we were talking about this Nappa and the Chatsu accessory, and he was telling me... Because we'd seen on the box that he's on his back, yeah. and neither of us had figured it out. And only only the other night, like, I, I, I packed up my figures and re-unpacked them, and I finally found, I think, does Chatsu come, obviously, in the Tien box, doesn't he? Yep. And it's in the Tien box, I'm pretty sure, like... And it's just this little clear accessory. Or it is in the Nappa box, and that's why we're confused. Like, I can't think of which box it's in now. But, but you, there is a clear piece, 
and it clicks on the back. What was the simple thing you like, did? Like, you read the instructions. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Read the instructions. Like, no, I never read the instructions. I'm always uh, like, I don't, I don't need the instructions. I know everything. And then Jess is sitting there. Even I was like, when I saw it, though, I was like, what's this piece? Like, oh my god. And I was like, and my brain just popped. I was yeah. like, it's for him to go on the back. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Unfortunately, though, when he's on there, it's still not the best of shots. Because you could imagine it's only sitting there like that. Yeah. So unless you have him turned or angled, you still don't fully see him on the back, which is... I could work it out. I mean, yeah, you'd, you'd have to have Napa backwards sort of reaching for him. Or maybe, which is a, a, like, haunch down, like, like reaching for him. If it's... I think he might fall. Like, it doesn't fully clip in. Like, he sort of more sits via gravity. Yeah. It's like a clear little... What's the next one to come out? Um, what are we waiting on? Uh, uh, Roshi. Roshi's coming out. In, oh, can you chop like, me my phone, honey? Uh, Roshi comes out next. Like, he Thank actually you. got moved. Like, uh... Yeah, I got this. He comes out in, like, a few days, man. Like, I think he comes out on the 27th of this month. Alright, so future releases. Sun Goku, new body, we got that. He's due out in August, according to Toy Up. Yeah. Toy arc. Yeah, so you Roshi. Yeah, news Toy arc. And then, yeah, Master Roshi. But he got bumped from September. He's not September because I got a, a uh, letter yeah. from um, my like, order saying that he's moved forward. They moved him forward a few days or whatever. Okay. And it's like the end of July or something. It's before August. Okay, so we got Master um, Roshi. So I'll just go in order since the dates aren't pretty liquid. But Master Roshi, uh, then Fat Boo. Got three of them coming. Bastard. I think I've got... I think I've got a Fat Boo pre-ordered. I know I've got a Roshi one, pre-ordered. One to have there just chilling. One to stay in a box and then one to fight my other Majin Vegeta. I've got a Bulma pre-ordered. I don't know... Ooh. Did I order that through Pen? Yeah. I, Is that who you pre-ordered through? Yeah. Yeah, I must have pre-ordered through him. Um, and then it's Go Tanks. And then Dragon Ball Super Trunks. I think I pre-ordered like two or three of those because he's. That's right. The no, big I pre-ordered sword. two of those. Yeah, yeah and he comes sword. with the big sword of hope yeah, or yeah. spirit sword, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and he comes. I don't know if he's going to come with a base Super Saiyan head. He might just come with the Super Saiyan Rage hair that's like really long and extended. Which is still a good, good hair to have. Yeah. Well, we've got base sort of Super Saiyan You've trunks. Got enough trunks, like yeah, yeah. Like we don't really need another one. And I'm assuming the head, um, the head peg will probably, probably about the same. So you'd be able to do a head swap with the Xenoverse trunks. Yeah, they haven't changed any of the head peg sizes, have they? Besides, unless the body size is different. Mm. You know, like, so all the, these figures are the same head size, but he's different. You know, he's the, well, they're, they're not, they're not all the same. Some of them, some of them are different. Yeah, no. Some of them are different. Like, you can't head swap everything. But, like, certain ones, like, yeah, um, yeah. the original, what is it, the base Goku, the web release. Yeah, the... Um, he, you can remove his head and put the Super Saiyan Blue head on there, like, that fits on there. Um, because that's how I've got mine displayed. Um, the premium colour Vegeta and the original release Vegeta, um, you can fit... I know on the premium colour you can fit the Super Saiyan Blue head. Yeah. Um, from the... Uh, well, some of them Resurrection are the same body, F. so you can definitely fit. Yeah. A lot of them have very similar, like, neck joints, like, pe neck pegs. Um, sometimes they're like slightly loose. I've mm. seen in some comparison videos dudes have done, like with the two point. Yeah, like the original Vegeta head pops off rather easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've everything pops off rather easy on the original stuff. And what things. what kills me on some